Would you consider YouTube music to be a genre in and of itself? You couldn't hear something and say, that's a YouTube yeah. musician. It's more um, like a distribution method. So that would kind of be like saying like, oh, this is a CD artist, somebody who's on <laughs> right. CDs. I, I think there's definitely an uh, emphasis on doing things yourself and keeping it within your circle of friends and keeping it within a sort of uh, more independent framework as opposed to in the proper music industry, you can hire people to write your lyrics and hire people to do your songs for you, whereas it's a, a lot more common in YouTube just to send someone an email and say, hey, I have this great idea, let's work on it together. You're in a place where you can kind of experiment more maybe than you would with mainstream music. You can take more risks. You're involving video in a way that maybe artists aren't doing. But um, I think that's not completely separate. I think that there is a way that you can kind of go back and forth and you can kind of draw inspiration from both. In my mind, I feel like indie musicians, and this is totally generalizing, but I feel like one of them is like writing poetry on a corner somewhere, and another one comes up and goes, I really, I've heard some of your stuff, man, and I dig it. And I feel like YouTube musicians, everyone's just like in their room, and they do the same thing, but like, you know, people come to them through their screen. How do you interact with other YouTube musicians? You meet a lot of people at these gatherings, playlists, VidCon, and you just become friends. You start talking. Twitter is a huge thing. Twitter is massive in how I've created friendships on this site. Um, and then you start hooking up and playing different shows. I think that's become a thing. All of a sudden you're playing music with people that you never would have met from places that you've never been. That's something that I really enjoy doing and something that actually really helped my YouTube channel um, go really popular was collaborating with other people because I can edit, I can shoot, you know, so, and people who would rather not do that, who are more popular than me, were like, sure, here's all my footage. Go edit it and I'll put your name in the description. You know, and I did that for a long time. And then eventually I was, they're like, oh, you're kind of popular, sure, you can be on my video. And then eventually it's like, oh, let's work on a big video together for my channel. And then I'll, and then we'll do two videos and then we'll post to you. you know? So why are you at Playlist? What do you gain out of coming to an event like this? We're on tour, we're touring around Playlist. And uh, this will probably be the most well attended show and, mo and one of the most fun shows on the tour, probably. It's really fun to play to a big crowd of people. Well, one, to, to meet everybody, to you know see everybody like you I hadn't seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, or like, you know, seeing the fans and seeing things like that. And also, you know, just uh, it's fun seeing all the performances and things like that. It's always nice to be involved in the community. Sometimes you'll, you'll be talking to a hip hop artist. I obviously do not do hip hop, I do like <laughs> nerdy pop rock, but we'll be able to talk about um, how we're able to get our music out. And we get to do interviews with Fuse TV. Yeah, I get to meet Dan Brown. <laughs> I get to reconnect with people that I watch, that I'm really excited to meet. I get to uh, meet friends that I've made over the years. And then you get to see the people that are watching your videos and listening to your music. So I think it makes me a, it makes me better at making videos, but it also makes me better at writing music because you do get burned out occasionally. I mean, you know this. Occasionally you, get, <laughs> occasionally you get burned out doing videos and that becoming your life. And you forget the fact that you are actually becoming part of the soundtrack of someone's life. Or you're becoming part of these moments. And so meeting those people is just inspiring and it kind of makes you you want to go home and start making videos immediately. On YouTube, it's all about the fans. If it wasn't about the fans and there'd be no no views, no comments, people, it wouldn't be like a video that people would see because it wouldn't be popular. So it's all about the fans. Thanks for watching. Uh, I actually had the chance to interview a bunch of YouTube musicians while I was at Playlist Live. So to watch another interview with another YouTube musician, click on another YouTube musician over there. And also uh, be sure to subscribe to Fuse right here on YouTube.